With Nexla's powerful and flexible search interface, users can quickly and easily locate any resource, category of resources, or data of interest, no matter how many resources the account contains. This video introduces the search interface available in screens in the Integrate and Discover sections. The search interface is located at the top of each screen above the list of resources. The search function works similarly in all screens with some screen-specific features that are highlighted later in this video. In these screens, the displayed resources are paginated, with 20 resources shown on each page. Information on any page can be quickly accessed using the arrows or pull-down menu. The Access keyword is automatically populated with the default value owner in the search bar in most screens, which means that resources to which the user has owner level access will be listed. To view shared resources, click on the Access keyword, select the Collaborator value, and hit Enter. To begin constructing a resource search, simply click inside the search bar or press the forward slash key on the keyboard. The search interface initially provides a list of recognized keywords and their descriptions. Keywords can be added to the search by typing directly into the search bar or by selecting a keyword from the list. Once a keyword is added, it must be assigned a value. Keyword values can also be typed into the search bar or chosen from the list of recommended values, which is continuously updated when text is entered into the field. After assigning a value, hit Enter to update the search results. In this case, the results show all data flows that contain a source or destination created with the Snowflake connector. Click on any search result to open it. Since this search was performed in the All Data Flows screen, clicking on a result shows an expanded view of the flow. But in some other screens, such as Sources, clicking on a result will open the Resource Information drawer. Searches of any complexity can be performed by combining multiple filters to identify any needed resources or data. Keywords can be highlighted and deleted using the keyboard, or click the X to clear all keywords. Each time a search is performed, the URL is also updated. For searches performed regularly, the URL can be bookmarked to navigate directly to the query without typing all the keywords each time. The URL can also be shared with other users. As keyword values are added to the search, the interface fetches the corresponding top search results and displays them within the drop-down menu. These resources can be quickly accessed by clicking on the listing. Searches can also be constructed using the Advanced Search window. Assign a value to one or more keywords in this window and click Search to view matching results. The assigned keyword value pairs are also displayed in the search bar. For more complex searches, the interface also understands some additional keywords beyond those shown in the drop-down menu. For example, if a credential needs to be modified, the Data Credentials ID keyword can be used to locate all sources or destinations that have been created using that credential. The full list of recognized keywords can be found in the Resource Search Interface User Guide. When a keyword that the interface does not understand is entered, it will be indicated by a strike through. If text is entered without forming a keyword value pair, the interface will display results based on a combination of likely intended keywords. In this case, the results include data flows with a source or destination created using the Amazon S3 connector, as well as this flow containing a next set with the word Amazon in the description. In the All Projects screen, the Access keyword is pre-populated with the Collaborator value, since projects are typically centered around teams of users. The search interface can be used to search for particular projects, and once a project is selected, keywords can be used to locate specific resources within the project. In the Discover and Next Sets screens, the attribute name keyword can be used to locate all next sets that contain a certain attribute. This keyword can also be used in the All Data Flows screen to locate data flows containing next sets with the specified attribute. In the Sources screen, when a search result is opened, click the View Data Flow button to open the data flow containing the selected source. 
The search bar will be populated with the data source ID keyword value pair with the access keyword omitted. This means that the search URL can be easily shared with and opened by other users. For more information about Nexlis features, see our other tutorial videos and the user guides available at docs.nexla.com.